Airstream, proud to provide tonight's highlights and interviews of the Jackson Center Tigers as we welcome you to the Schottenstein Center Division Four semifinal number one. And the Tigers back at state once again, trying to do what they did in the volleyball court and win the state championship at the first test, the state semifinal. There's Landon Reese, the son of the coach, always a big supporter and assistant coach. Jackson Center starts off quickly. Cassie Meyer knocks down the three. Then it's Kennedy Reese with a three. In fact, three threes in the first quarter makes it nine to nine after one. Second quarter, Tigers go to Alicia Kessler. The touch, it's 12 to 11, Waterford in front. Then Waterford's Megan Bull, circus runner. And all of a sudden, Green's up 14 to 11. They get the lead up to nine. But before the half, Vanessa Winner, nice bucket here, makes it 20 to 13. And then Winner again, it's a five point lead for Waterford at the break. Third quarter, Olivia Clark back from injury inside, makes it 20 to 17, Waterford. But then Allie Kern, big three. And all of a sudden, it's 32 18, Green after three. Fourth quarter, Jackson Center's coming back. Kessler. Back-to-back -back buckets, cuts the lead to 10. Then Cassie Meyer, the drive. It's 32-24, Waterford, 5.25 to play. Meyer continues the assault, offensive rebound and score. 32-26, under four minutes. Cameron Elkert, big three for the basketball coach's daughter, the boys coach, 32-30, Waterford, a buck 20 to play. Then Vanessa Winter, the drive, makes it a one-point game, 33-32, less than a minute to go. 20 seconds on the clock. Meyer fires a three to tie it, 35-35. Last chance for Waterford to keep it from overtime, and Haley Duff does just that. The buzzer beater layup, 37-35. Jackson Center season comes to a close. It was certainly a hard-fought battle on both sides. Um, it was very physical uh, from the start. Uh, we got out to a, a quick start with some threes. Uh, got us going a little bit, which was great, but we also knew we couldn't live from the three-point line the entire game. Um, Waterford came out, hit some big shots, went up big on us, started looking a little bleak, a little gloomy. But once again, we had some kids just step up and make some big plays throughout. And, uh, and, and again, one, just like the last couple games, breathed some new life into us and started chipping away. And uh, you know, it's a hard-fought battle, disappointing outcome for us. Uh, but take nothing away from Waterford. They played very hard. Questions? Cassie, I know that you had a really rough time last year when you were here to hit that first shot, that three to begin the game. How'd that make you feel? Uh, it was pretty exciting. I mean, we wanted to come out and end it with a different outcome, but I'm still proud of my team. You know, finished up, I think, 25% of the first three quarters and then 7 out of 14 in the fourth quarter. What was changed offensively? That's a great question. You know, I, I can't <laughs> tell you that we did anything differently. I think we just, uh, you know, had a different mindset. It's the fourth quarter. We're, we're down. There's no more being conservative. There's no more waiting for that perfect shot. It's you're open. You got to let it fire and see what happens. And once again, we had some some girls hit some just humongous shots um, early on. And, and uh, you know, as the game wears on, some of those opportunities have come to you too because. Uh, defensive intensity kind of wears sometimes because the legs aren't quite there in the end of the game. So, um, you know, this uh, this 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 Tiger team, I, you know, I laughed at them the one time out we had because I, I, sometimes I think they're wanting to see what you know what kind of stress they can put me under or something because even the last game that we played against Minster, a very good ball club, again it was looking gloomy and uh, had a couple players make some huge plays and uh, all of a sudden we're back in it and we're rolling down the fourth quarter. Our goal every year, or our goal every game, I'm sorry, is. Uh, you know, we just want to maintain. We want to maintain over four quarters. We want to put ourselves in a position at the end of the game, a call, the ball bounced a certain way, whatever the case may be, it puts us in a position that we can win. And these ladies did it. They maintained over four quarters, and they put ourselves in a position. Unfortunately, it didn't come out the way we would have liked. Coach, on that, the last offensive possession by Waterford, what kind of a defense uh, were you guys in? Uh, was it man-to-man? Uh, yeah, we were in straight man. Um, you know, our, our guards know that at any point in time, if they choose to, they can switch if they need if they need to. Um, but again, we are a straight man. You know, all season, what we what we practice is is uh, when we do d different defensive things. It is that that situation, that exact scenario. We're down one, or we're tied up. Their ball. We cannot even let them get a shot off, because a shot off always has a chance to go in. 
And, uh, it, you know, and when they came to that timeout, that's what I said. This is what we practice every single day. Um, but again, they, they ran a good offense, and uh, um, uh, Haley Duff did a nice job of getting into our interior and um, was able to make a fall. Coach, what can you say about the toughness of your team? I'm sorry, what was that? What can you say about the toughness of your team? The grit of these girls is, is it's amazing. Um, actually, in pregame, we talked about it. And uh, there's not a group of kids that I would rather do battle with than the 12 girls sitting in that locker room tonight. They're extremely tough. They don't waver. They uh, don't freak out. They don't get nervous. They, they do maintain. And they, uh, yeah, the, the, because of that toughness, because of that perseverance, because of that pride that they have in themselves, there's no doubt every one of them is going to be successful in life. And that's our goal as coaches. We want to win, but ultimately we want to make, we want to make good members of society. Jeff, I asked Harry the same question when I asked you. Is there enough officiating in that game as rough as it was? Because I don't think there was anybody in the arena who watched it and saw that much physical contact to come lead to the two fouls Yeah, you know, I, that's a tough question. Um, do I think it was rough? I do. I also don't make excuses. And, um, you know, it was a very rough and physical game. Maybe some calls could have went the other way as well. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're not playing in, uh, in the Pony Leagues is what I said one, one time out. We just got to be stronger. And, uh, you know, we have to adapt to how the officials are calling. No blame gets put on anybody. And once again, hard fought battle, very physical. Uh, but we were, we were where we wanted to be when that game concluded and the ball bounced the opposite way this time. Uh, Coach, Alicia gets her first quarter. What's your mindset losing some of your height? And then it's kind of a two-part question. She comes back second half, uh, tries to seem like she pushed through it, and then she kind of kind of take her out in the fourth quarter. What happened? Yeah, you know, I, you know, she didn't get taken out for anything that she did wrong or anything like that. The, the fortunate part about this team is we do have a lot of versatility in where we can play. And I thought that we needed in the fourth quarter to be able to put a little more pressure across the board on all their players as they were going to try to extend it and try to let the air out of the game a little bit. And I just felt as though we had a better matchup with what we went with. Nothing against Alicia. She did a, a phenomenal job. She's actually the one this game um, that got us going. She's the one that got, I don't know, it was four or six chip-ins there that really gave some life to us. Like, all right, we're, you know, it's back into single digits. We can do this. It really gave some confidence. So Alicia played a very good game for us. It's just at that stage of the game, I felt like I needed a little more quickness and not as much height. And so I, I just I, I felt that that was where we had needed to be at that stage. Uh, Coach, you mentioned this earlier. You were talking about what you were saying to your girls during those timeouts. Uh, it was tied third, uh, I think at 35, uh, end of the fourth. What were you saying to your team at that moment? Maintain. Maintain. Continue <laughs> to put pressure. Continue to attack offensively. Um, I felt it, uh, our defense is something we've prided ourselves on all season. And uh, it's definitely something that's put us in the position that we're currently in. Um, so we wanted to maintain that pressure. We wanted to force into some tendencies that we felt we had scouted pretty well. And, uh, uh, you know, we just we, we talk about grit all the time. And it's about, it's about going that extra inch. When you think you'd have nothing left, give me one more inch. Give me a little bit more. When you have nothing left, give me a little bit more because we all have it in us. And, uh, again, I can't say enough, not only about the two sitting beside me right now, but the entire team. Um, and even the girls that don't get in. Uh, are sitting on the bench with our scouting reports, yelling out plays, paying attention to what the coach is calling in case we don't have a name for something, yelling it out the next time that this is what's going on. Total engagement, 12 girls, four coaches, and four managers. Total engagement. Cameron, was there, was there pressure on this team during the course of the season to get back to this point? I mean, did you ever feel like uh, you know, it, was, it was something that was expected of you? Yeah. Um, at the beginning, our main goal was definitely just to win the league um, and then to go on and win districts, which we did. Once we got that uh, past that point, a lot of people were telling us, you can't get past Tri Village. And then once we got past them, it was, oh, you guys can't beat Minster. They're too good. So we were actually under uh, the underdog, which was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, there was pressure, I think, within ourselves because we knew we could do it. but. Um, around Ohio, I think we are definitely viewed underneath some people. And, and then when you're down 14 going into the fourth quarter, 
Yeah, uh, Cass and I actually were talking, and we're like, at this point, we just, if you're open, you have to shoot. Um, but we are kind of known for coming back, and I felt really good going into the game. Um, so, yeah. Did you hit the shot to the tie? Did you have the little deja vu? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was kind of um, all slow motion and unreal. I turned around, and she was jumping in the air. <laughs> And then I think I was just like frozen. I was like, oh my gosh, we can do this, but we just fell short. Thanks once again to Airstream for being tonight's sponsor of the Jackson Center Tigers.